SpaceX's Starship isn't just getting better. It's changing the way rockets are designed. With each new version, it becomes bigger, stronger, and smarter. But the real innovation is in the details. Starship version 3 will be the most powerful rocket SpaceX has built with a sleek, futuristic design. One of the biggest breakthroughs isn't in the engines or size, but in its weld seams. Stick around to see how SpaceX is perfecting this, and you'll realize the future of space travel is closer and more exciting than ever. The beauty of Starship 5.3 What will the welding on Starship version 3 be like? Can SpaceX make the welds nearly invisible or remove them? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Before we begin, please help us reach our goal of 150,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for your support. We're always improving. SpaceX has been working on Starship since it was just an idea. The second generation Starship has had two flights and five prototypes, and now version three is the most exciting. Version 3 stands out not just for its upgrades, but also for its design. SpaceX cares about both performance and appearance. Its smooth, mirror-like surface is now a signature feature, while earlier Starships looked rough in comparison. The change is amazing. The most difficult part. To achieve the smooth, polished surface of today's Starship and an even more refined Version 3 in the future, SpaceX has had to continuously upgrade and innovate its welding techniques. Welding plays a critical role in rocket construction because it must join metal components that face extreme temperatures, pressures, and vibrations. However, perfect welding is not easy. It depends on the method used, the skill of the welder, and the type of material involved. Switch to stainless steel. At first, SpaceX planned to build Starship out of carbon fiber at its California facilities. Carbon fiber is strong, so it seemed like the right choice. But then a stainless steel prototype appeared in Texas, and the switch turned out to be smart. Carbon fiber starts breaking down at 200 degrees Celsius and would have needed a thick heat shield to survive re-entry temperatures of 1,600 degrees Celsius. Stainless steel handles heat much better and only needs a thin shield. It's also cheaper, about $3 per kilogram compared to $150 for carbon fiber, and easier to work with. Building large carbon fiber sections would have required a giant, costly autoclave, and using stainless steel isn't new. NASA's Atlas rocket in the 1960s used ultra-thin stainless steel that had to stay pressurized just to keep its shape. Problems with early welding. Choosing the right material was only the first challenge. SpaceX also struggled with welding stainless steel. Their first welding team came from a water tower company. They were skilled but had little aerospace experience. They had trouble welding the 4.5 mm thick 301 stainless steel plates used in early prototypes. At first, SpaceX used a method called flux cord arc welding, where an electric arc melts the metal, and a special coating on the wire creates gas to protect the weld from rust. While this technique works well indoors, SpaceX was welding outdoors in large tents, not in proper factories. This made it hard to get clean, strong welds. The first prototype, Mark 1, ended up with welds that showed corrosion, cracks, and rough edges, grinding welds smooth. To address this, SpaceX ground down the welds until they were smooth. This wasn't just for aesthetics. Sharp edges and cracks can become serious problems under pressure. By smoothing the welds, SpaceX improved the structural integrity of the rocket. Ideally, a weld should be just as strong as the surrounding metal, but Starship's early tests showed that wasn't yet the case. Mark 1 exploded after a horizontal weld failed, causing its bulkhead to separate. Improvements for V2 After learning from past failures, SpaceX made significant improvements to Starship's design. The SN1 prototype used thinner stainless steel sheets, reducing the need for welding. They also switched to 304L stainless steel, which resists corrosion better during welding. SpaceX adopted tip TIG welding, which improved the strength of the joints and reduced the weight by 20%. Instead of manually forming parts, SpaceX started stamping them. This change, along with the use of tip TIG welding and laser welding, allowed for more precise and stronger connections. 
Laser welding, known for its accuracy, let SpaceX weld entire sections of the rocket in a single pass. However, an additional step was still needed to make each weld even stronger. Cold working, then peening. When SpaceX manufactures stainless steel sheets, they cold roll the metal, compressing it through rollers to stretch and strengthen its grain structure. However, welding introduces heat, which softens the steel at the welds. To fix this, SpaceX uses large peening machines. Peening involves hammering the welds to compress and harden them again, making them as strong as the surrounding metal. It also smooths the welds, improving their appearance. A perfect mirror? But could Starship ever achieve a perfectly mirror-like surface? To answer that, we can look at Chicago's famous sculpture, The Bean, made of stainless steel plates. It took a team of 24 people eight months of continuous polishing to remove every seam and achieve its flawless look. Achieving a similar finish on Starship would require an enormous effort, but it's not impossible for the future. Another welding method. FSW SpaceX also uses another advanced welding technique called friction stir welding, or FSW. Unlike traditional methods that melt metal to join it, FSW uses mechanical pressure and friction to soften and mix the materials without reaching a liquid state. This results in stronger, more durable welds with fewer defects. It also produces no harmful gases, making it an environmentally friendly process. SpaceX uses FSW primarily for critical components like internal fuel tanks, where extreme strength is essential for withstanding the forces of spaceflight. Material Improvements over time, SpaceX's improvements in both materials and welding methods have led to a major jump in weld quality. One important shift was moving from 301 stainless steel to 304 L, mainly because of its superior corrosion resistance and better behavior under welding. 304 L's lower carbon content prevents the formation of weak points at high temperatures, which is crucial for both durability and reliability in the harsh conditions of space travel. It's also much better at handling the extreme cold encountered in space without becoming brittle. Looking ahead, SpaceX is working on Starship 52 and planning version 3, which will be 150 meters tall. These versions are designed for durability as future missions will go deeper into space and face tougher conditions. Re-entry is still challenging and fully recovering the rocket is hard, but version 2 prototypes show big improvements like nearly invisible welds on the nose cones, making the rocket stronger and smoother. Starship version 3 will likely be even sleeker and more durable. SpaceX is also focused on reusability, aiming for rockets that can fly many times with minimal repairs. Advanced welding will help by reducing stress and making maintenance faster.